Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in this video, I have to continue speaking about the disaster for radios, and I'm going to speak about the daily policies. So what are the daily policies? That's something I'm going to show it to you in uh, this video. So let's go directly and see what we have to do. All right, so let's consider that we do have this request from the customer. One of our customers is saying that we want that every day from midnight to 6 a.m. the bandwidth consumption is not calculated. So meaning that uh, we have to work uh, with the profile in a way that we say that, okay, this profile that we are going to create for, uh, we have created for the user, what we need to do, we have to give them bandwidth to be able to uh, use the internet without it's calculating the bandwidth consumption. So let me show you how we can do that. We go to the SAS and uh, first uh, we have to log in. And after we log in, we go, uh, remember we have created the profiles before. So I think we have made the, this profile, which is 3 megabit for one month. So this is for bandwidth of 3 megabit by 3 megabit per second. So I will go to that profile to show you what we have here. So that's uh, the all information that, you, in addition of those settings that you can do over here, you have something here is daily policies. So you go to the daily policy and over here you can create the policies for this profile. So any user who is having this profile, like remember we have users here that we created from the previous labs, uh, the test one, test one has uh, this profile. Now this will be applied for the user which is test one. So let me go back to the uh, profile and uh, profile list. And uh, again, we go to the three megabit one month and to the daily policy. So the first thing that they say that we want to give them internet from midnight to 6 a.m without that the bandwidth is uh, calculated, meaning, or the, or the capacity is calculated, meaning that, say that we give for the users something like one gigabit per day, uh, one gigabyte per day. So uh, then from uh, 12 uh, uh, until 6 a.m., then the, if they do download and upload, this uh, capacity would not be calculated. So it's gonna be for free. So let's do that. So what we need to do now, we just create a new policy. And then you can say here, you can do it based on the time uh, or based on the traffic. So let's uh, make it for the time now. And uh, over here, they say from midnight. So this is midnight till 6 a.m. So this is hour and minutes. And I'm going to say that for all the days from uh, midnight until 6 in the morning, because normally there is not a lot of users who are using the Internet at that time, we can give uh, capacity for free then I want to make the accounting to be 0%. So I just make 0, 0. That means that when you do that, you are giving uh, the uh, the bandwidth or the capacity they can do the upload and download as much as they want without being calculated from their quota. That's what it means. So this is uh, the first thing that uh, we have done. Let's see what uh, they're requesting us to do. So we can put all the rules that we want to create, we put them inside here, inside the profile uh, policies. The second thing that we need to do is to make every day from midnight to 6 a.m. the bandwidth speed to go to 10 megabit per second. So we know that at this time on this profile, the bandwidth is three megabit per second. Now from also from uh, the uh, time, which is midnight until 6 a.m., we want to increase the bandwidth to be 10 megabit per second. So again, we go, we create another rule. And uh, also we can say here from zero to six for all the days, that's what they're requesting us. So let's say that it's a customer asking us for this. We are doing that. Or you are a reseller, maybe you are doing that for your customers. Then we want to give the bandwidth. So here we have bandwidth and you have the uh, measurement on kilobit per second. So that's uh, 1024 and then zero. So that's uh, uh, 10 megabit per second and 1024 zero. All right, very good. So now we are seeing that we're giving 10 megabit, 10 megabit from uh, midnight to 6 a.m. and they are not uh, um, adding anything on the quota. Very good. So that's uh, up to now is uh, clear and nice. The third thing they're saying, if the threshold reached to three gigabyte, then the speed will go to one megabit, one megabit. That's the saying not from uh, from uh, midnight to 6 um, a.m. It's for the whole day. 
for the whole day. If someone reached to three gigabyte, then the speed go to one megabit, one megabit. Very good. So let's do that. We create another rule and we say now uh, for the traffic based. So for traffic based, so we were working on the time based before. Now we do the for the traffic base. If they reach to three gigabyte, means three thousand seventy uh, two. Uh, megabytes, so that's 3 gigabytes, that's the same, exactly, and all days, then make the bandwidth to go to 1 megabit, 1 megabit, so reduce the bandwidth from 3 megabit, megabit per second to 1 megabit per second on both upload and download, and then I will say you're safe. So this is, uh, we didn't indicate from 2, so it means for the whole day, if there is someone reached to the uh, quota, which is uh, or the threshold, which is uh, three gigabyte, then that's what happens going to happen to him. Very good. Now let's see what we have also. Now, if the threshold is reached to ten gigabyte, means that it went to one megabit, one megabit of speed. But still, they're doing a lot of uh, bandwidth that reached to ten gigabyte. I'm not sure if I didn't do the calculation to see if one megabit, one megabit can give us. 10 gigabytes per day, but let's assume they can do that. Then there is no more internet access. So then we create another rule. So you can see there are like rules you are creating on site or the policies you are creating inside the, the uh, uh, SAS. And that's something I didn't see it really in uh, other radio servers, uh, servers. So that's amazing. Now we make also traffic based. If they reach to 10 gigabytes, so 1024. And then zero, that's megabit per megabyte. So um, 10,000 megabyte, that's 10 gigabyte. Then on any day, so what's going to happen? Then terminate. Just don't the, let them have internet anymore. Is this what they ask us? Yes, then no more internet access. Very good. So then the, we terminate. So when they reach to the maximum per, per day, uh, this uh, threshold then it will be terminated. And the last thing that sometimes it's asked by customers, that they don't want that users have internet from that time to that time. Let's say maybe it's a, it's a time um, for them to uh, to do some other work and not, not to be connected to the internet. So I just put here from 15 to 18 in the afternoon, users do not have internet. So how to do that? So I create it here. Now we go back to time-based from 15 to 80 for all days, then users do not have internet. So terminate and that's it. So we have done a very good uh, uh, policy now uh, under the profile that we have, uh, which is uh, the three megabit profile. And this uh, is now, um, yeah, will be applied for users who are from this profile. Now, some uh, things that I want to explain to you more about that. So if we go to any of those profiles, so um, we can see over here that we saw the uh, bandwidth, we saw the terminate. You can also add the, the, the uh, IP of the user to an address list on Microtech, and then you can do something with this address list like maybe give it uh, some priority on this address list, doing some firewalling, uh, putting some queue for it. So that's possible. And same thing for Cisco policy. If you have Cisco routers, you can also assign it to a Cisco policy. That's possible that you can do it here. That's one thing that I want to say. This other thing that I want also to mention is that when you create a policy, if you say that you want to create a time-based policy and you want it to be from 10, in the, um, uh, at night until six in the morning. So you cannot do it like this, 10 to six of the second day, because for the SAS, he sees uh, the day which start from um, zero, zero. So it's, uh, that's the um, midnight until 23.59. So the last minute of the last of the day. So what you can do in this case, you make the first one, you say from 10, actually it should not be 10, actually, it should be 22. Sorry for that. So from 22 until 23, 59, then you do what you want to do as a policy. 
And then you create another one, the same policies that you want to apply. And then you say here from zero to six. In this case, you have covered from 22, which is uh, 10 uh, um, uh, at night or 22 at night until six in the morning. So that's something you have to be careful that the, the SAS will work from zero zero that means exactly midnight that's the day which start for SAS and finish on 2359 that's one thing that i want to mention about the other thing is uh, if we go to the tools you have uh, over here the system services and you can see that there is the policy manager the policy manager is the one responsible for everything which is um, for daily policies on the SAS. In case you um, have any problem that uh, it's not replicating the way it should replicate um, once uh, you create a uh, daily policy, what you can do, you can just come to the policy manager and you can just restart it. So once you restart it, then it will restart the process of the policy uh, manager, which is responsible for uh, all the, the uh, daily policies that you are creating. And by doing that, then you are sure that it will work for you. So this is all what I wanted to show you in the uh, daily uh, policies. Um, so it's a very nice feature which works on SAS4 radius, works perfectly. I have tried it and it's working. And uh, yeah, it gives uh, for you as a network administrator a lot of privilege to be able to help uh, what your customer wants. Uh, so you can make the policies, create them on daily policies, and then you can assign whatever your customer is asking you to do. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.